when I look around, I see competition at almost every position on our football team. There are some guys who are returning players who they can continue to do what they're supposed to do are going to play really well for us. But they also know that there's some younger guys who are barking up the tree and want their jobs. Two receivers right. Vereen in the backfield. The Browns' Carter showed blitz. Manning back to pass. He's going down. They got a snap. Joe Schobert got him back inside the 20 at the 19-yard line. Uh, Joe Schobert has really shown up this year in training camp. He's playing the Mike linebacker position. He's extremely bright, so he's able, because that's the quarterback of our defense. So he has a lot of input and in say from snap to snap what our defense does, and that's a perfect fit for him. I've put in a lot of work this offseason. I studied with all the guys. I got in my playbook, so I was ready to step right up in that spot. As like a whole team defense, we want to be the top defense in, in the league. So every step individually for me, everything I can do, whether it's leading the team in tackles or leading in interceptions or force fumbles or something, I want to do whatever possible to put our defense in the best position to get in that number one defense in the, in the league. Third down and goal from the Browns four yard line. Geno Smith at quarterback. He's got the snap. Back, looking, in trouble, throws it, picked off! At the four yard line, right into the body right there of Brian Body Calhoun. He's a worker and he has some intangibles. Uh, he's a football guy, he studies, and he loves to play. That's the main thing, he just loves to play. I'm enjoying the game and just trying to learn every single day, just whatever the mistakes I made yesterday, just try to come back today and try to correct those. He's fun to be around. You can feel his energy and you can see how much he just loves to be out here playing football, and I think uh, for an older guy, that's fun to be around. This was like the only job that I, that I wanted my whole life and saying I was gonna go to the NFL since I was six years old. Just a year ago, I was like, when I get in this game, I got to do something because if I don't, I'm, I may be working at Walmart. I'm glad where we're at right now defensively and where we're at, at as a team because we're climbing. You know, we, we're, we look pretty good, but we're not satisfied at all. We know we have a lot more work to do. We're doing that work, and uh, that's what's the most exciting. It's the process that I really look forward to that I'm really enjoying. Days will be the running back. First and goal at the one. They turn, they give. Days cuts left, and then back right, and then in for a touchdown. Oh, nice little cut there. He got him to go outside, then he ducked inside. I'm telling you, you're really going to like him. Yep. He's a heck of a little player. He's made plays in every practice that he's been involved in. He's a great player. I feel like, you know, he got some good cuts. Uh, he's been doing good with pass protection. He's been doing good all around. When I first came here, my main goal was just to make plays, if it was just special teams or anything. I thought I was going to go third or, third or fourth, end up going in the seventh round, which I know for a fact there's not 29 running backs that's in that draft that's better than me. You just got to come in and just show your worth to the guys on the team and to the coaches and stuff, and show them that you're a playmaker. So once you could do that, it doesn't matter where you were drafted. My whole life, I've always been number one, even Little League high school and even in college. The fact that I have Duke Johnson and Crow in front of me right now and starting all the way back over, I mean, it's tough, but I know that there's a process I gotta go through to get where I need to be at. So I'm going through that process right now and I know for a fact in the future I, I could be a starter for the Browns. So the Saints come up second and 10 from their own 20 yard line. Shotgun snap, Grayson back up in the pocket. He got hit, he fumbled, loose ball, Browns on it. That's it looks like they have it, it's Cole Nassib's got it. And I think it was Coley that stripped him. He did, uh, Trevon Coley, Doug, who has really played so well. One of the players who probably doesn't get enough notoriety is uh, Trevon Coley. He's had a fantastic spring, a fantastic preseason. Um, and right now we expect him to be a, a pretty significant contributor for the, uh, you know, for the roster. It's a great feeling, obviously, because that's the goal from the start. Um, I mean, God just gave me opportunity, and I've just been grateful for it. But I try not to um, let it overwhelm me too much because I still have a job to do. Following what Danny's been doing, following what Meter's been doing, I'm following what the coach has been telling me to do, listening to what they've been saying, and trying to apply it to the field. Danny's just been that extra push. Just look at me and say, hey, come on, come on. And that, that's just been big. Um, just that, that extra push, you could go a long way from someone doing that for you. He's been probably one of the most productive D linemen since OTAs. Coming out here and working hard every day is what got me here. So, I mean, I won't stop now just because um, something on the depth chart is, has changed. So, of course, it feels good, but I'm just Trevon Coley, and I'm going to come out and give you my all every play.